Hello friends, look at this interesting exercise we have here. We need to find the shaded Could area be. of the figure. Come on, Sensei. First of all, you would agree that to find the shaded area in blue, we need to find the area of the rectangle and subtract the area of these semicircles. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do is more or less mark the centers of the semicircles. They're appearing here. Alright, now here we have a tangent point between the semicircle and this side of the rectangle. So, we can draw a line from the center of the semicircle to this tangential point, or from this tangential point to the center of the circle, right? It doesn't matter. And this here would be the radius of this semicircle, which we'll call lowercase r. Since we draw a radius to a tangential point, it went through here. They form 90 degrees. As this is the angle of the rectangle, there are also going to be 90. There are 90 here, and well, there are also 90 degrees here, right? Because if this line is parallel to this line, and here it's 90 degrees, then here it must also be 90 degrees. Alright, so this line being parallel to this one must also be R. So we have R here and R there. Perfect. Over here we have the measurement from here to here, but we can we can extend this measure to reach the center of this semicircle notice like this and this entire line here would also be r hmm. and if we take away this little piece here that measures four then this red line we just drew is r minus four very well and the same thing happened here we draw another line and as we remove this piece this will be r minus seven all right spectacular so look from here to here it's going to be r because it's the radius of this semicircle and up to here it would also be r and from here to here it's going to be r minus 4 from here to here it's going to be r minus 4 from here to here is r minus 7 and finally from here to here is r minus 7 and notice that we have the measure of this line here which is the base of the rectangle. And we also know that the base of the rectangle should be 38. So we can equate this here. Let's do it. Then we get... So R7 more, R7 more. R4, I'm here. Don't get lost anymore. R4, I'm here. Plus R plus R equals to R. Hmm? All right. And this has to equal 38. Spectacular. And now we will be checking our yes numbers no. So I have one here, one, two, three, four, and two would be six up. Six sir, and let's see the numbers. Negative seven and negative seven would be negative fourteen. Minus fourteen and minus four would be minus eighteen. Minus eighteen and minus four would be minus twenty-two. Very well, and we write down here minus twenty-two. And this has to be equal to 38. We have 6 are here equal to 38. And this 20 moves to the other side to add up. Great. And we have 6 are here equal to 38 plus 22, which gives us 60. If we move this 6 to the other side to divide, we get 60 over 6. No? Therefore, ladies and gentlemen, the radius will be equal to 60 over 6, which gives us 10. We've already found the radius of this semicircle, which is 10. And we also know the side of the rectangle, which will also be 10. Easy. If you're enjoying the video, don't forget to subscribe and give it a like. And the equation, man, this is, now we have that the shaded area is going to be equal to the area of the rectangle. Remember, the area of a rectangle is base times height, 38 times 10. Alright, 38 over here and 10 over there. Minus the area of this semicircle here. So it's pi times radius squared, see? 15 over 2, but who is the radius of this semicircle here? If it's our minus 7, then it would be 10 minus 7, which is 3. The radius of this semicircle here is 3. So here, we would have 3 squared minus and again by radius squared over 2. Now we are in this semicircle. Here since the radius is like a equals 10, so 10 minus 4 gives us, how much does it give us? 
6. So the radius of this semicircle is 6. All right then. Here we have 6 squared. And over here we have the radius which is 10. So we're left with minus pi. By radius squared which we know is 10 squared over 2. All right. And, like, uh, and there we have the equation to find the shaded area. The shaded area is going to be equal. 38 times 10 is 380. All right, here we have a subtraction of homogeneous fractions. So we can keep the denominator, let's subtract and keep the denominator which is doubled. And here, what are we going to have? 3 squared, which is 99p, very BP. Good, now that we have it, let's add one more here so we can subtract all of this from here. So what do we have? 9p minus 9p. Then what do we have here? Minus 6 squared which would be minus 36 pi then what do we have we have minus 10 squared which gives us minus 100 p all right and let's see we have that the shaded area is equal to 380 then we have more we have negative 39 minus 36 it's minus 45 and minus 100 minus 145 so here we get minus 145 P over 2. And look at this plus. Well, we removed it because we were subtracting this from here. This plus simply meant we had to subtract it from here, right? So we don't get confused. And then multiply the negative by the negative. So what do we have left? We have this part here, ladies and gentlemen. The shaded area is going to be 380 minus 145 pi over 2. Fascinating. And all this today, ladies and gentlemen, square units. Eh? We're also going to leave an approximation here. The shaded area is approximately 152.23 square units, of course. Let me know in the comments if you liked the video. And don't forget to subscribe and give a like so you don't miss the upcoming challenges. We'll see each other another time. Bye-bye.